I'm Captain Matthew Doris from Oshawa, Ontario, a Royal Canadian Electrical Mechanical Engineering Officer serving at the 3rd Battalion Royal Canadian Regiment here in Petawawa, Ontario. Canadian Electrical and Mechanical Engineering Officers, or REMI Officers, are leaders in the field commanding groups of vehicle, weapons, electronic optronic, and materials technicians who are responsible for maintaining military equipment. Generally, a REMI Officer is the liaison between a higher headquarters and the technicians on the ground. We take the commanding officer's intent of what they want to achieve with land equipment. We translate that into specific tasks down to the uh, specialized trades and how we can achieve that giving them their timelines, their specific tasks. Your role really as a REMI officer is to enable those technicians to do their job. You don't need to be an expert on every single system. You just need to make sure that the person who is uh, has the tools they need uh, to succeed in that job. Management administration as a REMI officer can be challenging. So you have to be a human being at the end of the day, to talk to your troops and do what's best for them. Okay, you're trying to balance what the Canadian Army or Canadian Forces needs, um, but also the individual needs. REMI officers are employed at bases and garrisons across Canada, as well as on exercises or deployed operations, both here at home and around the world. In addition to managing the people who maintain and support all Army equipment, they also manage the care of the land-based equipment of the Royal Canadian Navy and the Royal Canadian Air Force. They may even have the opportunity to work with Canadian Special Operations Forces. You may see equipment going down the trace or weapons firing and it looks really cool. But none of that happens without the uh, REMI technicians in the back enabling those combat operators to do what they need to do. REMI officers can also be employed in other technical or logistical staff officer roles and at National Defence Headquarters in Ottawa, where they can expect to work on procurements or engineering projects at the strategic level, influencing and making decisions on the equipment that the Canadian Armed Forces will use for years to come. The coolest part of being a REMI officer is actually getting to uh, see the equipment up close. You come down to the shop, you can see light pattern vehicles or heavy pattern vehicles, armored vehicles, and then down to the, even the weapons. And you feel a lot of pride in enabling these technicians to do what they need to do and, and to succeed. Once they've completed their training, REMI officers are posted to one of the many Canadian Armed Forces bases across the country, generally to a large workshop where they will lead a group of up to 30 technicians who maintain a wide range of equipment. They act as technical advisors to their commanders, planning and controlling the workload of their unit's maintenance organization while handling unit-level personnel administration. Once you get into the seat, there's a great deal of problem solving you have to do on the fly that you learn very quick and you learn by experience once you're in those positions. However, you typically have other REMI officers in the area and senior REMI officers who you can always look for for guidance. One of the more memorable moments I've had was as an operations officer in Kuwait was uh, to serve my country and do what I uh, can do to, to assist. Being a younger adult, you're handed such high level of responsibility and to work with other nations and achieve tasks that uh, you didn't think you'd actually be working on. It's very interesting to see how you can jump into something at such a young age and have such a profound effect on an international scale.